What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. Probably not going to change. We always talk about reasons you should become a nurse. I thought today we'd flip the script and talk about reasons you shouldn't become a nurse. The top eight reasons to not become a nurse. Number one, the money. If you're out to do this for the money, you may want to rethink your priorities because we not only don't make that much money, but do you really want to go through what we go through for the amount of money that we earn? Hmm. Never do a job just for the money because the money is never enough. Number two, if you have a small bladder, you should probably not do this job because you're gonna need to have a pretty large bladder, probably the size of a Winnebago. Cause you're probably not gonna get many bathroom breaks. It's just the fact of nursing life. It's not like we don't want to go to the bathroom. We just never get a chance to. Number three, if you like to sit down, then you probably shouldn't be a nurse. Although I'm sitting down right now. When you clock in, when you show up for work, when you're caring for your patients, there aren't many nurses out there that actually get to sit in a chair for an extended period of time. Once again, it kind of goes along with the whole, the whole bladder thing. You're not going to get to sit down much, and when you do sit down, you're probably doing something very productive while you're sitting. Usually charting, catching up on charting, or you're on the computer researching something in regards to your patient. Number four, if you have a sensitive sense of smell. If you get sick at the stank, then you probably shouldn't be doing this job. Because guess what? There's a lot of stank in our job. I'm sorry, but I can't think of another description other than stank. And besides, stank just sounds... Stank just has that really gives you a good description. At least I think. We could talk about smells and odors and displeasing aroma, but stank really gets the point across. And there's a lot of stank in our job. Number five. If you're doing this for the fame, you are definitely in the wrong profession. Very little, very few times will you actually get credit when credit is due. And not only that, but if you're really doing this for the credit, then you don't belong in my profession. We don't do this for the fame. We don't do this for the recognition. We do this because we care about our care. We do this because we want to impact lives. Besides, you'll probably become famous for something you don't even want to be famous for. Number six, if you don't like to learn, if you don't like to continually learn, then you're probably not going to like being a nurse because your education does not stop after you graduate from school. The learning never stops, not only from a scholastic perspective, but from a technical and skill perspective, you have to maintain continuing education credits to keep your licensure. So, if you don't like learning, if you don't like the requirements of having to learn, yeah, you probably shouldn't do this job. Seven, if you suck at people skills, this job is definitely not for you. I'm not saying you have to be a master at it, but you gotta have some sort of people skills. Guess what? You're gonna deal with people all the time. And if you have a cardboard personality, or you are always mean, angry, nasty, and unhappy, yeah, I don't want you in this profession. Just go somewhere else, please. I want someone who's a tad bit positive in some way, shape, or form, and who has people skills. You're going to communicate with your patients, your families, their friends, on a daily basis basis. And number eight, if you don't like change, yeah, you probably shouldn't do this job. This job always changes. Something about the job, about your responsibilities, about the care we deliver will keep changing. I've only been doing this a little over 10 years and what I do now and the way that we practice now is 
nothing like how we practice and what we did 10 years ago. Everything from advancements in technology, advancements in medicine, advancements in nursing practice, hmm, I don't know, big pharma and all of the wonderful drugs that they've produced, changes the game constantly. The old saying of the only constant thing in this world is change, yeah, that applies to nursing. The only constant thing in nursing is change. Just ask anyone that's been doing this job for more than a year. What'd you think? I, I kept it I kept it small to only eight things. I'm pretty sure that others could come up with other reasons that you should not become a nurse and you should not be doing this job. And by all means, I want to hear what you have to say. But once again, just give me one extra reason why someone should not become a nurse. And let's try and behave out there, okay? Leave me your comment down below. Your comments are my caffeine. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.